Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Monster Chains account review video. So today I'm back with another episode, this is going to be episode 13. So I hope you guys are excited, if you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and again if you want to be featured in a future episode where you want your account to be reviewed, make sure you drop a comment where you basically mention your team name and also your profile, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, anyways let's go ahead and get started. So ladies and gentlemen, the first player we have here is Pro Gamer number one from Angelic Masters number one. So this player went ahead and requested, um, and basically his comment is, "Hey MG, love this series. I started playing during the Forsaken era, so that's basically around like Legend era. Uh, you know, remember the elite monsters and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was before Mythics actually were introduced. Anyways, this player played until Metro era, and it says which is when I took my break. So he took the break during Metro era." And I started again recently, uh, you know, around Abyssal era, which is this current era. I currently am free to play, but in the Corrupted era, I had many Legends passes. I was wondering if you could review my account and give me some tips on my multiplayer teams and to uh, better organize my islands and give me some tips on other stuff that I need to know. All right, so we'll basically just do a whole account review then, uh, basically, on this player's uh, account. So 50 game monster power, 100, level 102. Let's see what you're using for your attack team. Um, attack team, see, let me see, what, what do you... Yeah, no, you shouldn't be using something like this for your attack team. Um, King Adam is fine. I like King Adam. Not with those life runes. Do one life and two team speed the most, okay? So swap out one of those life runes with the team speed. Um, but let's see your Blackberry. So Blackberry, if I'm not mistaken, is an attacker, right? He does have some torture removal skills, I see. And removes, uh, removes all control, status effect from one ally, applies double damage and life regen. So, no, here's the thing, you're gonna need to swap Blackberry for a different attacker, like a really good attacker I'm talking about. Pure Panda, you could probably keep, but the thing with Pure Panda is that he's really good at rank 5 because of that area evasion. If you do have Elvira by any chance, try to max that monster out and use Elvira instead. Um, even if Elvira is like 120, I'd rather use Elvira 120 rather than using a Pure Panda 130, if that makes sense. So, King Adam is fine, but you need to swap out at least, at least Blackberry. So, what I would do is probably use either Voltaic. Instead of Blackberry, if not, you can... Let, let me see what you got here. Uh, do, 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 you have a few attackers. Oh, Dragbite. Dragbite, heck yeah. So do Dragbite, Pure Panda, and King Adam. Because here's the thing. This monster doesn't have Pierce, but he does have Cold Blood, which basically helps him bypass uh, Taunt and Megaton, which is still huge. So I would I would actually use Bra a Drag Bite there, 115, rather than this 100 Library. For your defense team, on the other hand, you do have Cupid, which I like. So Cupid's fine. Uh, you can use this tank if you want, but then you're going to have to swap Alchemistic. Let me see what you got here instead of Alchemistic that you can use. If you can, if you can, try to rank this monster up. Empress Luthien is actually a pretty good supporter. Uh, I would highly recommend ranking this monster up, and when you do rank it up, swap it with Alchemistic. Uh, but your Cupid runes look fine. This monster on the other hand is Zajin. You do have a 130 here, I see, Eternal Myrtle. Don't use this monster as an attacker. I don't know why you have strength runes there, but this monster is a tank. Its role is to be a tank, and... I would give him like one life and two team speed if, if you can and swap it out instead of a Zajin. Don't use a Zajin, swap it out with this monster. Especially now that you have it at rank 3, you have that damage section that's going to help you out. But the monsters that you should actually focus on here to rank up would be Sword of Myrtle, a Zajin, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, maybe King Darren, maybe, okay. You do have, let's see, um... Not really a huge fan of these monsters here. Voltaic, on the other hand, is really good. Uh, definitely max this monster out. Drag Bite's pretty good too, for Team Wars too. Uh, you do have M plus Luthien, so again, if you need a supporter, go ahead and use this. Uh, what you really need is a damage booster, I would say. Like a support damage booster. If you have Elgata, by any chance, or if you don't, pick it up. He, she's still viable, he or she. Still pretty good. Uh, you do have King Adam, so continue investing in King Adam, and that's pretty much it. Shaolin, on the other hand, I mean, I'd, I'd rather bring up Turtle Myrtle and focus on that rather than Shaolin, to be honest. And Clock Axe is alright, Clock Axe. Uh, I actually like this one more, to be honest. And uh, with your PvP, just try to get yourself to Legendary 4 if possible. Like, Legendary 4, and then try to grind to top 1000. If you could get to top 1000, just maintain that spot at the end. You're gonna get the same exact reward from top 2 to top 1000. Um, so anyways, let's see what you got here. So for your island, I see that you got water monsters mixed with thunder, water and thunder mixed, mixed with metal. So you have three elements, I see. Water, thunder, and metal. Okay, that's fine. Where are your other boosts though? I see, I mean, I notice, okay, so there's the metal, there's the thunder. Um, 
You see how you have metal monsters here though? I think Scrap Warrior is a metal if I'm not mistaken. So try to have them all together in one spot rather than like have them separate. So these are your two metals. Gobsler is a metal if I'm not mistaken. So is Hacksmith and Wangshu too if I'm not mistaken. So these monsters right here, they're not receiving any boosts at all. This one, this one might be. Yeah, this one is maybe like 10% the most, but this one, mm -mm. they're not getting any boost from the gold. Uh, so yeah, here's the thing. A tip for everybody. Don't worry about decorations. Trust me, it is worth, it's just a waste of space, okay? So all these obstacles, all these uh, decorations, if you've made any in your island, please remove them. Unless, 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 let's say you take care of every single space, right? You use every bit of space on your islands. And then maybe you have like those tiny edges. Sure, that's fine. But like this, this this is worth like what? One, two, three, four, probably four habitats there. And you can even squeeze them a little more together. If you want, you could probably place this somewhere else so you can move that habitat a little bit just in case if you need to make more space. I like the, the fact that you actually have this maxed out. That's really good. And I'm glad you have all your uh, food farms in one island. That's nice. Okay. With your temples, you can keep them there for now. I, I noticed that you actually have some bit of space to play around with. So that's why you just have them all in there. But later on, you want to just move these temples either where the elements are. So for example, you have thunder monsters here, metal monsters and stuff. You could probably place them around. If not, you could just move it. Yep, right here. This is where you got. Okay, so that maybe right here. If you could squeeze in the worker hut a little bit to the right and place another temple there try to actually take advantage of those little spots like right here too you see so just uh something that i wanted to mention throw it throw it out there for anybody watching uh nature monsters are good earth monsters that's really good so yeah just uh take care of your first island your first island is what you really need to focus on i would say magic monsters are there uh with your gold boost though so you only have one where where are the remaining i wonder so those are the magic monsters um you have your dark monsters some more magic there interesting so yeah if you can i'm not sure if you've actually purchased all four of them but if you haven't already purchase all four trust me it's gonna make you a lot of gold uh but everything else looks fine though i'm glad you have these three unlocked again the best thing to do this is for everybody. When you're starting off, you want to unlock this first. Okay. Try to max it out if you can. Basically three stars. 100%. And then focus on this next. And then this. So the pattern is one, three, two. Next player we have is Wangus from New Zealand Vikings. New Zealand Vikings. Okay. So here's the thing. I actually want to throw this out there. And this actually applies to everybody that's watching. If you're a returner player, the best investment you can actually make would be the Legends Pass. As much as I hate to admit it. You might have to actually spend some money in the game just to, you know, give yourself some boost. And the best thing to actually do is purchase the Legends Pass. And that's just a regular pass. You don't even have to purchase the Exclusive Pass. Nothing like that. It's about 20 bucks. Um, if you can, try to go ahead and get yourself that. And that basically gives you a huge head start. If any returning players watching this, that is like literally the best investment that you can make to give yourself some boost. Especially if you're a returner. Anyways, this player said, um, I started playing at the end of Cosmic Era and I played until the start of the doomsday era where i took a break for a bit i recently started again around the end of the galactic era i have been mostly free to play it would be great if you could review my account next episode and give me some tips and guidance all right so i appreciate you answering let's see what you got so level 90 38k monster power uh your multiplayer team is actually phenomenal i actually like this the fact that you have yeah this is actually amazing and your rune setup is just it's so good but um, here's the thing, try to see if you can actually rank these monsters up. If you could rank them up a little bit, you could definitely get to like Legendary 4 or whatever, top 1000. You could definitely get it. With this type of team, this is actually really good. Like anybody with this type of team could actually get to top 1000 easily. Your defense team on the other hand could be better. See how it's 7 out of 379? This could definitely be better. You could definitely improve this. Uh, all these monsters unfortunately are outdated. So let me see if you have anything better to use. You do have Rover here. I need to still do a review on this monster, man. It's been a while. Oh man, I need to do a review on that. So I'm glad you have it though. Uh, this is not a, that really good. I'm not really a huge fan of this one to be honest. Uh, but you know what? He does have some torture skills that are nice. I'm gonna have to do my review on him soon. Massive dark damage with steel life. So yeah, um, if you do own him, which you do, I see. Uh, 
go ahead and see if you could invest in him. But the thing is, nowadays with Abyssal Monsters, unfortunately, there's no rank of survival dungeon, so you can't really rank him up unless you have like the Coralias. Uh, but this monster is really good if you could actually get this to rank 3. You can actually use this instead of Cryo Crawler. Yes, a taunt over a Mega Taunt. Because here's the thing, this 130, let me see what, what he has here. So I really wish I could see it without the life, like without the life runes here. I want to see his life. 478k, what do you have? Look at that, 355k with no runes and it's a 100 versus a 130. Imagine you get this to 130 and then you give him like one life and two team speed. That's already like three times better than uh, Cryo Crawler basically. So yeah, try to rank this monster up and then, you know, you could just basically swap him out with Cryo Crawler, I would say uh grind it oh you have grind it, dude no way okay so here's the thing since you have grind it ah it's a 150 stock killer though dang see if you could actually rank this one up you have cupid as well here's the thing there's dungeons for these monsters okay every monster from the original mythic era up until you know galactic era they all have dungeons basically in a way to obtain cells for them so I would highly recommend taking advantage of those dungeons and actually bringing these monsters up. So the best monsters to actually focus on right now for you, uh, for dungeons would be first focus on this guy. Okay. For dungeons, this is actually, let me just mention all of them that are actually worth ranking up. And then the ones that I don't mention, they're not worth ranking up. So turtle myrtle is worth ranking up. This one's also worth, uh, clocks maybe, but focus on grind day first. Luthien is pretty good. Serpentix. Yeah. Phenomenal. You have a 132, um, uh, King Adam definitely max that out. Shadow Yana, do you have shadow? Yo, you know what? What are you doing? Use Shadow instead of uh, instead of this guy. Yeah, use Shadow instead of him. So get rid of this, replace him with Shadow, and then you can even use your Stockular still, I would say. Um, but yeah, use your 120 Shadow. Let me see what, what the speed is here. 17,300. This monster has 19,000. That's because of the level 9s or 10s you have that, there. This monster just has level 7s. And it's a 120 compared to 140. Keep that in mind. So anyways, Enhancer is pretty good. Um, I would say focus on this one's huge chirp. Cupid's pretty nice. Gahizol is okay. He's good for Team Wars. Team Wars only, okay? And UV Fusion for Team Wars only as well. All right, let's see what you got here in your island. Okay. So, uh, oh man, I haven't seen a statue in so long in somebody's island. I remember when I had like a full island, I think it was. Was it my main island? I had like so much statues and it's it was crazy. Uh, but anyways, let's see what you got here. So... You got your nature monsters mixed with water, light, fire. Oh my gosh, this is all over the place. Yeah, your main island definitely needs some work, I would say. So what you could do is actually just focus your main island full of mythics, but split it into like two or three elements. Uh, for you, you could probably do like three or four elements actually, since like you're level 90, you only have 205 monsters. I'm not sure out of 205, how many are basically mythics. Probably like at least, at least 90 of them. And out of 90 of them, I don't know how many of them are, you know, that specific element. Uh, but if you have like, let, okay, here's the thing. What I need you to do is sort out through mythics. When you go to your monster gram, sort out through mythics and then a specific element. So that could be like water, fire, and whatever. You can write it down, see which one of those you have the most uh, monsters out of, if that makes sense. Like if you have the most, let's say light monsters, you could actually make your main island full of light. And then second could be whatever you have the most of, you know what I mean? And then third, fourth, basically something like that. So that could actually, I uh, feel like that, that'll actually help you improve. Your main island definitely needs some work. So split it into a few elements. Uh, I'm glad that you have this maxed out. It's really good. You have your monster lab, everything else is good. Water, this this is actually like, um, Prisluthian is also water, yep. Uh, your other elements oh this is actually good so your all the other islands are actually good it's just your main island that, need, that needs work and that is like the most important island i would say because you have the most space you know what i mean fire monsters magic and then this is just all random right yeah you got light water earth earth and then light fire oh man okay i'm, I'm glad you have all of these here though but you know what? Here's the thing. Again, just focus on your main island. That's where it needs the most work. So, again, it would be one, three, two. So max them out in order. So be get this monster, or sorry, not monster. Get this temple to three stars first, and then this would be second to three stars, and then that would be your final. But yeah, get yourself all the boosts if you haven't already. Get yourself all of them and basically place them everywhere. So this island, I see that you only have two. So get the remaining two and place them in there. You have your all your thunder boost that's really good 
dark boost you still need one more unless you have it somewhere else but yeah everything else looks uh looks up fine just focus on the main island the most next player we have here is hero from black clover one so this player said hey mg i started around two months ago i just want some advice on team for defense and attacking but an overall review would be nice all right so let's see what you got here 3k launch power level 58 I see that you're obviously a new player so you're actually doing pretty good so far you have mythics mythics are actually nice especially when you're starting out okay any mythics really so for your attack team i see that you're using i'm assuming this is your supporter and then you're using as an attacker and that okay so if you can try to swap that team life with a, like a speed rain i would say um and if you want here's the thing i feel like nayo actually works a lot lot better as an attacker um this banner right here, I would say swap this out with a charging banner if you have it. And then that mask, eventually, if you can, get a mask that will regenerate your stamina. Um, and then if you want, again, you can run Naya as an attacker. But if you don't want to do that, you can run as a supporter, that's fine. But those speed runes, let me see. So you have 6,800 speed, 7,400. See, that's not right. So for some reason, your core is even faster. It's crazy. Okay, it's because of Abyssal Arrow versus blossom that's crazy even with no speed runes yeah so you'll, you'll have to work on the speed here okay make this monster faster because right now all those speed runes that you have there are basically useless because this monster is still taking the first turn it'll probably start off with all those torches maybe negative satisfaction too and this monster won't be able to cleanse it so here's the thing this is completely fine for now but later on um Obviously, start leveling this monster up a little more. Focus on this rather than focusing on your Cory more, okay? So get this monster, like, close to, like, level 100, just so that it's actually faster than Cory. That way you have your supporter, and then you have your attacker going in first and second, if that makes sense. Uh, your defense team, on the other hand... Yeah, your defense team needs some work, I would say. Let's see what you got. You have King Adam, come on! I see players, like, they have, like, the best monsters there, but they're not using it. I don't understand why. Use King Adam, okay? Give it like a life in two team speed. You have Cupid, man, use Cupid. You have Cupid there as well. And then if you have any damage boosters, that would be nice. If not, a denier would do the job. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can even use this as your supporter if you want. I'm not sure how well he is a supporter, but you need a, you need a supporter, I would say. Like someone that would actually like give damage boost okay so use king adam with cupid instead of what you're using here for your defense team and trust me you're gonna get a lot of a lot more wins and then if you can pair it up with like a denier okay either a denier supporter or damage booster really but the monsters that you should actually focus on here would be focus on turtle myrtle uh let's see let's see let's see clocks is not bad this one definitely naya naya is gonna be one of those monsters that will last you like forever almost forever king adam another one you want to focus on cupid so focus on cupid and that's pretty much it really all right let's see what you got here okay so you know what this is fine i mean every player when they start off they just basically kind of like put all their monsters in the main island you know what i mean like it's just all over the place in a way but you could definitely fix this i would say take all your mythic monsters place them on the main island you know what i mean and have them organized like how you do here you know nature monsters except this light monster definitely have it somewhere else so all your nature monsters including this uh ancestral have it in the main island mix it with a different element and another element since you're level 58 you know what i mean it's huge this island is huge and you don't have enough monsters so might as well just you know make separate like i mean have multiple elements in the main island if that makes sense uh, i'm glad you have all of this here except these two need to be moved somewhere else and this needs to be moved right here okay so yeah and then th look at that oh man see your food farms that's not good have them all in one island right here or this island both of the islands are good for it uh on the other hand these are all over the place in a way as well like in terms of elements so you see how you have like four thunder boosts here the only ones that are really taking advantage of it would be i, th I think claw hex is actually thunder if i'm not mistaken so you have one two three four that's about it i'm not sure if flash here flash here is he thunder and light i know he's light but i'm not sure if he's thunder as well but i'm not sure if he's receiving any if he is thunder element but then this one this is a magic this is a light you know what i mean so have them all in one place um dark monsters okay dark dark that's fine and then you have a water monster you know what i mean so yeah you gotta you gotta take a take care of that right now you know what i mean since you're starting off it's actually good later on it'll just save you from headaches 
uh, definitely, definitely get this leveled up as well. This is one of the, the most important things in the game that you want to actually like try to max out if possible. Um, I'm not sure if uh, at level 58 you're actually able to get it a little higher than level 5, but if you can, definitely, definitely do that. Um, this placement right here for your fire boost, that's not really that good. The only monsters that are actually taking advantage of it would probably be like these three, maybe this the most. And he's barely getting anything. And you have it all the way at the end, rather than having it this close. You know what I mean? So, try to have it in the middle, I would say, somewhere there. Um, you do have this already unlocked, but then later on you'll need to unlock this. But, yeah, um, there are some things you can improve on, and I already mentioned them, so go ahead and note those. Next player we got is Jado from the Goon Squad. So, this player commented, love the series, and I would love to get some advice. Okay. Level 90 player, 21k monster power. Let's see what you got here. So for your attack team, you're using Frasilka Supporter, and then you have your attacker, and then a denier. I would highly recommend swapping this monster out with like a tank. If you have a tank, swap it out. Your defense team is actually looking quite all right. Um, although that stamina rain, definitely get take care of that stamina rain. You don't need that. This monster doesn't need it at all. Uh, so the stun abilities and stuff that could help you out. Voltic's actually amazing. I like the fact that you have Voltic here and this tank here, but this, you could probably swap this out later on. Um, let me see what you have here that you could probably use instead of those monsters. So, let's see, let's see. There's an attacker, so no. Do -do -do. Not any of them really, except Dragbite. Let me see what you're using as attacker. Yeah, no, you don't have to swap out Dragbite then. Um, but I, what I would, I would recommend here is Getting rid of Alchemistic eventually with like a swap it with a tank. If you have King Adam, even if it's like a level 100 King Adam, slap it with like a life, like a one life rune or two life rune the most in a team speed instead of that. Um, that would actually be better than Alchemistic to be honest, or even for Silka if you want to swap out for Silka with that instead. But I would keep for Silka because this monster does provide damage boost for attacker that actually helps you out a little bit. But your defense team, your defense team is looking fine for now, but eventually swap out this monster with like a different denier or if you have a lamuna lamuna actually works very well with this monster with voltic redeemed um and there's a few other ones that you can obviously use as well so the ones that are actually worth ranking up here would be obviously the ancestrals if you can uh none of these really except turtle turtle is actually good none of these really nope 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 as agent maybe but rank this monster out first max that out first and then you can focus on his agent Voltic redeemed 100%. This one's also pretty good. Uh, clocks. I would I would probably take care of drag bite first and then clocks after. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's see what you got here. So your water monsters are together. Your thunder monsters. So you split them into two elements. Not bad. This is actually good. Level 10 here. All your food farms are there as well. Good job. That's actually looking nice. Metal monsters all together. I see that you've been actually following the you know account review episodes that I've been doing. All your dark monsters are together, that's good. Magic monsters are also kept together. Earth monsters. Dude, your, your uh, island is actually looking pretty good, I would say. This is what people actually need to do. So, these three are also here. Oh man, look at this. This player is actually taking notes. I bet he watches every single one of the episodes that I actually make for the second review. This is actually good. I, like, I actually feel proud. <laughs> good job. Alright, so, yeah, no, this is actually good looking. I honestly don't even know what to really, like, what kind of tip I should actually give you here. Really. I mean, here's the thing. Eventually, swap out the legendary monsters with mythics. For now, it's fine. But later on, when you do get more, let's say, thunder monsters, you know? Thunder mythics. Swap out this legendary habitat. You don't have to sell the monsters, especially Voltic or Akinubuki. Both of them I've seen actually in past breedings. You can still use them for breeding events and stuff. So that's why I would highly recommend not selling them. Like, you don't want to sell monsters ever. Unless you have duplicates. Sure. You can probably extract them in that case, but selling them is also an option. Uh, but yeah, water monsters, so swap these out with mythic monsters too. And I would say try to squeeze in like the habitats a little bit because you can definitely, definitely, let me see, one, two, probably about three more mon three more habitats you can probably fit in here if you just squeeze the habitats here and there a little bit. But everything else is looking fine, I would say. Good job. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I won't lie. This is good. For your level, 
the fact that you have all this already everything organized that's good all right guys so that's going to wrap it up for today's monster gems account review i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe again as always if you would like your account to be featured in a future episode make sure you comment down below your profile name and your team name so for example for me it would be monster gaming team spirit 2015 and if you have any other comments just go ahead and write in the same comment under it and then just go ahead and submit and you'll have a chance to have your account to you know be reviewed in a future episode so anyways guys i hope you did enjoy today's episode episode 12 and if you have any comments let me know in the comments down below but yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out